Today we have here a tricky integral. This one's from the UK integration B 2024 problem three. We have the integral from zero to infinity, arctan of pi x minus arctan of x all over x dx. Okay, at first I tried a few different things on this that didn't really work. Like I was looking for maybe like a trig identity on the numerator, but I don't really know of anything that works with pi x and x. And I also tried splitting this up into two integrals on the minus sign. I think that actually makes it harder because I think individually these two integrals are a real problem, but when you put them together, it actually gets easier. So what I found was a pretty good way on this was actually to use Feynman's trick. And what I can do is take our original problem and parameterize it, leaving it all together. But what I can do is where there's this pi, let's just kind of turn that into a variable. Let's just turn this into this T right here. So doing this, what we're saying is in the end, we're just gonna to wanna to find a value for f of pi. If we can do this, that's gonna be our solution. Now we do want, when we do find a trick, we're gonna want one known value. You'll just notice when, if you set t equal to one, then we have arctan x minus arctan x, the numerator is zero, the whole thing is zero. So we can use this value that we're gonna know, we can come back to this later, we know that f of one is gonna just be equal to zero. So then from here, what I can do on this is we wanna find Let's get the derivative. We want to find the derivative with we want to find the derivative with respect to t on this. But what I'm going to want to do is let's differentiate inside the integral sign, and we'll do this as a partial with respect to t. So going ahead with this, let's just kind of do our derivative down here. Now this x one over x that's just going to be a constant, so we can bring that out front here and differentiate all the rest of this stuff. But then what's going to happen is over here this arctan of x. This differentiating this part with respect to t, that's just a constant again. So this part is just going to be a zero. So differentiating arctan of tx, we have our one over x in front. Derivative of this is going to be one over one plus, we'll separate out like t squared, x squared, I think. And then chain rule, derivative of this with respect to t, that's just going to be an x. But then the x's are going to cancel. And what we've done, we just transformed this whole thing down to one over one plus t squared x squared. But now from here, we almost can integrate this using our arctan formula, but what I'm gonna to wanna to do is let's factor um, one over t squared out front so we can get rid of the t squared on the x squared here. Then what's gonna happen, we're gonna have dx. This constant's gonna become now one over t squared, but I wanna set it up for the formula, so let's write it as one over t all squared plus x squared. And then we'll just go ahead and we'll use our arctan formula. It's gonna be, we have this constant out front. This is like our A value in the formula right here. And so in our formula, we want the reciprocal of this. So it's gonna be just T over one. We'll write it that way. And then this is gonna be arctan, this same thing, T times X. And this is gonna be evaluated from zero to infinity. But I can cancel a T with a T right here. So we just have one over T in front. And then we can just go ahead and evaluate this. We'll have one over T in front of everything. Plugging in infinity, let's assume that T is positive. So we know that it's going to positive infinity, arctan of positive infinity, that's gonna be just pi over two. Then evaluating at zero, arctan at zero, that's just zero. And so for our value for F prime of T, this is just gonna become pi over two T. Okay, so now we have our value for F prime of T, but we need to keep in mind our goal. We need to get back to F of T because what we really need is this f of pi, that's what we're trying to find. So what I can do to transform this, let's just take a derivative on, sorry, let's take an integral on both sides with respect to t. Then when we do that, pi over two here is just gonna be a constant. So we end up with pi over two and we're integrating dt over t. Integral of this thing right here, we have the constant up front, pi over two. This is gonna be natural log absolute value t. I'm gonna drop the absolute value. I made that assumption earlier that t is gonna be positive. So we'll have natural log of t, and then we're gonna have a plus c on the end. And this is gonna be our value for f of t. Now, one thing is we don't really want to try to evaluate this with the plus c. We need, because our original integral is a definite integral, so we wanna get a numeric value in it. We don't want the plus c. Well, that's where we can use this thing that we set up earlier. This is really gonna allow us to evaluate for that constant. So I can just plug in a one, we get our f of one value. So doing that, we have pi over two, plug a one in there, we're gonna have natural log of one plus c, and this thing needs to be equal to zero. But natural log of one, that's just gonna be a zero. The way this is gonna work is c needs to be zero. It seems like every time the way this works out, it almost always comes out with c equal to zero.
So with that, we'll just get rid of our C over here, and this gives us our function of T. And so now all we need to do to finish it off is we just need to come back and find our F of pi value. And notice if they didn't put a pi there, if they put like a three there, if they put a lot of, I mean, I don't know if it could be anything, but for a lot of different values, T could be something different. You could just evaluate it with this equation here. So just plugging in pi for our F of pi value, we're gonna have pi over two, natural log of pi, and that's it. Okay, there you have it. Good one from the UK integration B. I think they kind of gave it away because I think in the beginning of the test, they tell you that they're gonna be using a lot of Feynman's tricks. So it kind of gives you a clue as to what method to use for some of these. Okay, interesting problem today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.